was heating up very quickly apparently, but this took several minutes. I'm running about 60 amps through this small bar of tungsten at a vacuum of about 5 times 10 to the minus 5 millibar. The point of this demonstration is that it appears the reaction appears to go forwards only at room temperature and air pressure, but at high temperature and pressure it goes in the other direction driven by the entropy of the released oxygen. The copper oxide is spontaneously reduced to copper just by heating it up in these conditions. This can be explained by Le Chatelier that the normal reaction uh, takes in volume and gives out a small amount of heat. So the reverse reaction takes in heat and gives out, um, uh, gives out volume. Or th thermodynamics in that the release of oxygen at low pressure and high temperature is favored because the, it's entropically higher. In that the term uh, T delta S in the Gibbs free energy reaction is increased. The checkered pattern that you can see now is due to the interaction of the frame of the glass and the light coming out. Under normal conditions, using your eye, you can't actually see that uh, effect. It's just an interaction with the camera. The copper oxide appears to be dark because it doesn't conduct as well as the metal, so the heat coming from the heater is not reaching the surface. As you can see it's getting really hot now and I'm going to slow down so that we can see it react. Now at a quarter real speed we can see what's going to happen as the heat goes through the surface of the molten copper. The dark spot gets smaller and smaller as the copper oxide is reduced to copper. Unfortunately for me molten copper oxide reacts with tungsten and, if, and just at the point it's converted to copper a hole forms and molten copper drops through. You can see that uh, very soon. It's just about to happen now. Now I'm letting it cool and you can see the hole for, uh, in the center of the tungsten boat. Back to normal pressure and we're going to have a look inside the chamber. Um, eventually the camera will point down and we can see what we've made, small pieces of copper on the surface of the tungsten. Um, zoom in, come on, oh there it is in the center, there it is, zoomed in. And now we're going to move to the copper at the bottom. One, two, three. This is the drop that you saw melting through the tungsten boat and dripping on the floor of the chamber. Here it is, molten, uh, metallic copper formed from copper oxide. We're about to shift over, I'll take it out of the chamber and have a look at it closer. Here it is. Copper formed purely by physical chemistry just heating up copper oxide which only works if it's done in a vacuum and high temperature.